Lucas Media. So Coach Prime had their game this past Saturday against uh, Baylor, and it came down to the wire. Um, they scored, Colorado scored with really two seconds left on the clock. Shador Sanders threw a Hail Mary up, and uh, I forget the young man who caught it, but it wasn't Travis travis hunter but as far as stats goes i mean shador went shador went 25 41 341 yards and two touchdowns travis hunter had seven receptions 130 yards i also feel like he had an interception let me see i feel like he did but whatever regardless he's the travis hunter's the best player in college football if he don't win the heisman it's strictly because they got an issue with with, uh, with Deion Sanders, Coach Prime. Because regardless of what their record's going to be, if the Heisman about is about the best player in college football, Travis Hunter is clearly the best player. Not the best record, but the best player. But at this moment, Colorado is three and one, and they got a game coming up against UCF. And y'all probably asking, why do I have uh, Jason uh, Whitlock on, on here? And um. You know, he made a video saying that basically it was lucky and, you know, they had the same record last year and, you know, they played against Baylor, who was a bad team. And look, honestly, we won't really know. I mean, we're at this moment, they're three and one. So you got to give them credit where credit is due. You're three and one. I personally had them going at least six, at least winning six games this year. So for me, they're already halfway there, maybe seven if they're lucky. But we'll see. I mean, they got a, a Big 12 game coming up against uh, UCF, which would be a pretty good game. They're already a two touchdown underdog. And then they had, they, after after that, that I believe it is Kansas State. Yeah, Kansas State, number 20 in their country, Arizona, Cincinnati, which will probably be a win. Texas Tech, we'll have to see. They got Kansas. So yeah, they, in my opinion, they can get to at least seven games and a, a bowl game. Now, do I think this would be Coach Prime's last year there? Probably, because wow, he does bring in players because his whole method is, oh, I'm going to go through the portal. I mean, you still got to get uh, four or five star recruits there as well. Like, yeah, Travis Hunter is... The best player in the country but then when you go to a school like uga it's a thousand travis hunters you know what i mean so um but he's going to need a quarterback as well after shador leaves but you know overall i don't i don't know i mean i want them to win at least seven games hell even eight but we'll have to see where where they go their offensive line when they went up against Nebraska, I mean, they couldn't hold anybody. Now, Nebraska did lose to uh, my, my Illinois fight in the line eye over on Friday, but we'll have to at least let me say this. We won't really find out until UCF and Kansas State and Utah, Oklahoma State, they got it. They go up against them. That's when we'll find out how good that line is. But I mean, hopefully they're good. Now, one thing about Shador man i don't know a lot of people will be mad when i say this but shador he that man is gonna he's going to have to start throwing that ball more every he just he keeps holding it holding trying to make a play i don't know if it's just to keep his stats up but shador man you gotta let that ball go and y'all remember trey lance people was was sketchy about trey lance when he when he got drafted to the uh, 49ers the way you are in college is probably how you're gonna be in the pros so if you're trying to hold the ball, hold the ball, hold the ball, you're going to get your head knocked off at some point. You know, Caleb Williams, he's struggling with that now. I mean, he did throw for 300 some yards, but, you know, you can't, this this isn't USC. This isn't, you know, you got to, you got to get that ball off. And same thing with Shador, man, you drop back, you got a couple of seconds, either you tuck it, you run it, you throw it away or something. But the what, as many hits as he's taken, if he, who knows if he'll even last the season doing, you know, so that's my only critique of Shador. Hey, Travis, the best player in the country. I think he'll get drafted at wide receiver strictly because, I mean, there's more, you can make more money on your, on your bigger contract at wide receiver as you can uh, at DB. I mean, they already making what, $30 million a year. So by the time his contract comes up for a mega deal, he could be making at least 35, 40 million. So that's a no brainer right there. But, you know, so we'll have to see. Like I said, they got a game coming up against UCF 330. I got YouTube TV. It's already pre-recorded, so I'm definitely going to watch it. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. I mean, hey, that, that was a lucky catch. You know, do fail. You know, but shout out to Shador and him. You know, but tell me what y'all think.